So um, this is like a short application overview. I have a tree model, and that tree model is uh, part of my Qt layer. And um, inside this tree model is a tree, and the tree nodes are actually boost variants. And this means that I have uh, inside this boost variant kind of like a type list of concrete types. So, and I want to serialize these concrete types as this is my data model. And when I do that, then the following, ha following thing happens that each change to those variant types or to those data types, which are like, you know, uh, to be serialized, um, any change actually will force me to recompile my application, which kind of sucks. Um, as I also use uh, things like Boost Signals 2, which links like forever. So I, I want to avoid that, that I have to recompile the, the UI code when I actually write a serialization code. And so, as I said, it's boost, boost serialization is something uh, I would like to try. And so there are two official ways it's documented. Um, the one way is an intrusive way where you make boost access, uh, the serialization access class, your friend, and then you have a template, uh, you, you have a normal method inside your um, class, and then uh, this acts as the means to serialize things, but that's intrusive, so I have to put that in the header, and it means each time I want to add or change something in the serialization code of my class, I, ha I basically get a full recompile as a price for it. So um, the non-intrusive way is also that you have like a, a, serializ a serialization uh, template function, and then you just have to make your members public. And so that's also one thing which I don't like as public members. That's not an option for me. Um, so I was thinking about, well, may maybe, maybe I could find a way just to serialize my members. So I thought, well, if I, if I call with all members I want to serialize, tie, I get a tuple which is actually you know, containing all my members as references. And if, the, if I expose that somehow, uh, through a method, then I have uh, something which is better than public members, it's something similar, and yeah, if, if, if I do that, I shouldn't forget the, the reference in the, in the, actually in the return type. And then I only need something to serialize the tuple, which is actually pretty easy with Boost Fusion and Boost Fusion for each, and so I just need an additional custom class to serialize each tuple item. And yeah, I, I quickly learned that uh, writing this tuple access uh, method by hand is stupid, so I made a, a little magic with Boost preprocessor, which then is simply in each class kind of like this defined. And of course, you know, um, then the actual uh, serialization code, I have to define the uh, interface for serializing things, which is here just uh, calling boost for each with the fusion helper and the archive. And uh, the fusion helper basically only uh, just glues the archive and the type together and I am fully serialized. Now, um, this works and works actually really good, but um, it has the advantage that all my serialization code is in one place. Uh, the classes don't know anything about serialization, and this interface also could be used for other things. Um, the disadvantage, it feels a little bit dirty. Um, you know, what the fuck, uh, and probably what? And, you know, tuple, um, the, the performance of this probably is not where we should be with C++, so maybe we can fix that. So let's, let's fix that. And I, I had some feedback from Reddit, and the, the feedback was, well, you also could make the free serialization function a friend, and then you could access the members there locally. Um, but usually you, you define your uh, friend functions also with your classes, and again, I would be um, intrusive and would have to you know, go through the whole recomp uh, recompilation, and I would like to avoid that. And as it turns out, this is possible. This is a, a boost serialization code, which is now Again, in uh, kind of a lot of macros, um, I have a serialize and a serialize implementation, which uh, the serialize has to be placed in the, in the header in the actual class, 
and the serialized implementation um, that can, can go in the CPP file where the actual serialization happens. And then um, I'm suddenly having uh, the situation that I can serialize my classes without having to recompile everything. And yeah, I also have a macro for uh, derived types because in boost serialization you need to call something for derived types. And that's it, five minutes, yay. <laughs>